How's it going video friends? Mike Pearls of joining you at level 257 and in today's episode I would like to stress the importance of farming your legendary familiars to stack them in the stable as early as possible. Let me go ahead and start the battle here with Mr. Astaroth but what I'm talking about is when you first get into dungeons that have for example pieces of Wimbo you need to take advantage of farming these every single day that you play for example right now if I look at my familiars if I wanted to craft a third Wimbo I can see I need a Squibbo, a Warfin, and a Gem. Now, since I already have two Wimbos, I've already gone through most of my familiars as far as crafting additional ones. So now I need to start farming Squibbo. And basically what I'm trying to get across here is, with each dungeon that you do, don't just do a random one. Always be farming something. So, for example, if I'm going to do a dungeon today, I'm always going to be farming either Warty, Driffin, or whatever is needed to make all the others. For example, uh, and you can start farming the pieces as early as dungeon number one. As we see here, I have five Tubbos. Therefore, as far as farming the Squibbos, all I need are Squibs. Easier said than done, but I think you see what I'm getting at here. Just always be farming pieces because what I've realized is as far as the stable is concerned when farming legendary minions you get a huge bonus if you board legendary minions for example I already have two Wimbos and if I get a third I increase my total stats for those familiars by 40 as you see here therefore if I go into trials and gauntlet and choose to use two Wimbos and myself as a tank I can increase my total stats on my team by 80 since I'm using two separate of the same legendary familiar if that makes sense but let's jump right into the video I'm gonna continue farming I am looking for my third one best of luck guys and enjoy the stream
So just as a test, I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna make sure to snag that energy real quick. We're gonna test out a total stat theory. How about those pants, huh? Alright, so another familiar of mine that is one of my favorites is Robbie. If we go into Gauntlet right now with myself and two Wimbos, the total stats is 5740. Now, let's go ahead and stable one of the Wimbos and bring on a Robbie that has been stabled three times. Let's see how much we increase our total stats. So 5740. All right, looks like Robbie's already stabled. So we just need to stable one bow. Now I'm not gonna have as much healing, so I may not be able to auto this completely, but at a minimum, I'm gonna have an additional, well, I don't know how many stats, let's find out. All right, Wimbo's in the stable. We're gonna use Wimbo and Robbie. With myself being the tank, here's my runes here. Uh, special shout out to Snitchu, recommending the redirect rune. I didn't see its real potential, but I do now. It's very helpful, it keeps your minions alive a lot more. All right, so, was it 5740, I believe? Let's see what it is now. So 158 stats more. That's crazy. That's a lot of stats. Once you get higher level like this, even a few extra stats is amazing. 150 some is kind of unbelievable. Let's do a gauntlet and see how far we go. Hopefully it's not a complete nightmare. Alright, so as we can see, I'm shielding the back two minions pretty easily here. It doesn't look like Wombo's having to do too much healing. Doing pretty decent, wave six. Usually I never see too much shield on myself, so I think we're doing pretty good. The true test will be wave ten though. And depending on the boss, sometimes you just get really unlucky. Sometimes the boss is just extremely overpowered. But hopefully with Robbie in the back, we'll do okay. Robbie can heal as well, and it's very powerful with his 40% crit, but it's two mana. And having a one mana heal is just very crucial for your team. Alright, here goes wave 9. Moving into wave 10 with not much mana. That's the only downside to auto. No strategy. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and swap people around. It's getting really close to full auto, but it's also kind of scary. For some reason, auto doesn't like to pick off the players in the back. Therefore, you just take thousands of unnecessary damage for no reason. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick those off and then continue on. I try my best not to waste revive potions, because they are more expensive. I 
At this point, I'm not even gonna heal. I'm just gonna try to smash faces. And there we go. We got rewarded with a nice blue rare neck, tier six. So this will go into the garbage pile and we get to enjoy all these other commons. Raise your hand if you want a new type of currency for destroying all this stuff. Let's go ahead and knock out a PvP real quick. It's worse in PvP as well. Stapling legendary minions is so powerful, it's crazy. I don't usually use Wimbo on my team, but for this match I will. I'll increase my stats up here by quite a bit. I'm gonna remove Rolskir because I don't have him stabled, and I'll put in Wimbo. Of course the doorbell has to happen. Let me do a dungeon for you guys. Like we got lucky with an auto there. Sorry for the delay. Looks like I'm gonna have to hop off here and take care of an unexpected guest. I'm gonna do one more raid and see if we get lucky.
Sorry for the delay there. For those that have been watching for some time, you know that we had a attempted robbery about a month ago. And the people broke our window and the people putting it in are just now doing it today. So pretty excited to not have a hole on our window. It's a crazy world. So if you made it this far into the video, what do you guys think of the game overall? For those of you that have, say, gone above level 100, you've played for some time. I try to, oh nice, today's the day, gents. I usually don't spend gems, but for this I will. We got Squibbo, yes. That's Wimbo number three. Congratulations to me. Now my question is, how many squibbos should I farm? Because now that I've run out of Driffins, I need to do Raid 1 and Raid 2. And I only have so many gems, I don't like to spend money. I guess what I could do is, when I have 800 gems to spend, I could farm Raid 1, Raid 2. And in the meantime, the dungeons I'll be farming are, of course, Jeb, Warty, and I need to start farming Gem as well now. It's a lot of work to find these, to craft your legendaries. So let's straight away just craft that Wimbo. Let's go ahead and turn on epics only. Now I've been getting a lot of questions of Walcom. I believe there's a, a dinosaur looking uh, healer. I'm gonna stick to what I know. I've been farming. This guy looks interesting. I might start looking at him. Cause like I could craft three right now, 15% block, that's not too bad. But now that I'm being a uh, tank myself, Zubble, huh. This is what happens if you focus on bubbling for 250 levels and then look at the familiars. All right, let's farm. Let's go ahead and use the squibble. There we have it, Mr. Squibbo. He's so short, it's adorable. Let's go ahead and craft the Wimbo now. Let me know below if you guys have the stuff to make Gauzy. 20% damage, that's pretty good. Oh, and he has the single target pounce, very good. Very good, like a super powerful quirk.
Alright, here we go, guys. Wimbo number three. Today is a beautiful day. And I farmed all that I needed in probably a week's time. I've, I've crafted two Wimbos this week. The very first Wimbo obviously is extremely hard to get. But after that, I highly encourage you fully max out Wembo and or Bobo Dom or your tank equivalent actively every day. Obviously this is going to take weeks, but let's see what uh, Gauntlet looks like now. I'll go ahead and take out Robbie, put in the other Wembo. I think 5740, if you want to go back and look, was the original. We increased almost by 100, but the important thing now is we have our one mana heals. So let's see if we can finally auto level 210 at level 257. Fingers crossed. So by crafting that additional Wimbo, we added 80 stats to our team. Right away here, I have shields going into wave 2, which usually doesn't happen. Let's see if we can kill every boss. Here's wave 9. We're looking pretty good. Usually I go into wave 10 slightly damaged on my character. Uh, the guy with the, uh, the dark axe here usually isn't too much of a threat. Let's see how we do. Gotta take it off auto again. See this, this player in the back here, you know? I would have killed him in the first three attacks. If I was autoing this, well, manually. But the uh, Wimbos are doing great healing. Those health bars just shoot up whenever he crits. It's kind of spotty. It's getting better. I'd say I'm gonna farm maybe one more Wimbo. Get myself an additional 80 stats and level 210. For sure should be easy by then so let's start farming the necessary parts uh, we did gem yesterday or Jeb let's go ahead and do gem until we get him I do have in my capture rate hopefully yep uh, yet another reason to ca uh, craft only minor runes Capture rate really comes in handy, guys. All your minor runes do except gold. Craft these constantly until you have gold of everything you want. Don't even bother with major or the meta runes. Go ahead and go through here, see if we can find another gem. And we'll be on our way. I think in the next run, I'm gonna just make it myself so I can get my bounties done. So I'm kind of experimenting with sometimes live stream 
sometimes I just play the game like this, depending on how I feel for the day. Let me know below what you guys think. Do you guys really only like the live streams? Are these okay as long as you get to see the gameplay? Are you most interested in the legendary drops? Let me know what you guys think, I wanna know. I keep thinking about how how much easier level 210 gauntlet would be right now if for the past 250 levels I always was farming a piece of legendary something. I imagine if you started as a brand new player and actively farmed pieces of Wembo from level what 20 ish upwards constantly chasing uh, all the parts needed to craft him I imagine by level maybe 150 you could have two Wembos at least I'm really happy I focused on leveling for 250 levels. It's nice to be higher level now. But in a way, I kind of wish I focused on familiars a little more. But I guess there's worse things that could have happened. How much stamina do you guys think I should have? I wonder if I increase stamina by, say, even another 100? if gauntlet would be a lot easier. I'm kinda tempted to try that right now, actually. I may go up to, uh, I don't know, maybe 650? I don't want my character to be too clunky, but with two Wimbos, I don't think you can go wrong. I may just go full tank. Yeah, I've, I've been feeling like the game's been pushing me in that direction for some time now. The only thing holding me back really is my accessory. Recently had a donation on one of our recent live streams. Somebody helped me get a defense accessory. Can't remember the name, but special shout out to you, sir. You know who you are. 24% block, 3% absorb. I can get my block up to, I think, 33%. So that means about a third of all damage, I take half of that. I guess the question comes down to, do you need a legendary accessory to be a good enough tank in this game? And I guess the next question is, if I did go tank, obviously that'd probably help out quite a few of you, right? You could always use a decent tank. It's gonna be hard to part ways with doing all this damage, though. But I guess I have to answer the question of how much damage am I really doing if my speed is so low. Honestly, I don't see a huge need for speed. Some dungeons I'll go into, I'll show an example right here real quick. Let me add some of the top players. A77, well known, like top five player. Uh, also Mr. Betraz here, 800 speed. I have 252, right? Let me show you something. We'll make it slow motion so you can see. All right, we're gonna battle all this stuff. It's gonna die quick, so it's not gonna be the best example. But watch how many times I attack versus how many times they attack. And they have up to almost four times my speed. I stand corrected. This is a very poor example. But in 
say raid 4 and stuff like that when minions have enough health for me to properly show you I only get maybe one or two attacks less than they do which really makes me wonder if all those stats you put into speed are kind of wasted sure their extra attack does a lot more damage but if I put all my stats into attack do I do about the same amount of damage I don't know. I think I'm talking myself into going tank here. I could also deal with having the Bobodom schematic drop here. I've been farming that for ages, ages, months and months. Still do not have it. If you guys have Bobodom schematic, let me know below. How many attempts did it take? I've also updated some of our sponsor info down below. No pressure whatsoever. Uh, the YouTube community has started to kind of destroy the smaller channels. I tried to do this for fun. It's been fun for months. But they throw a lot of uh, copyright issues and just a lot of things that make your videos. Sometimes where you can't even display them. As you can see, I use the non-copyright music, but sometimes they even flag that. It's really weird. But I've updated some of the sponsor info below. I'm willing to help you guys out as much as I can. Try to help you out with the raid team. It's amazing how much of the community actually sends me friend requests off stream and actually specifically says, hey, I would like to offer myself for your live streams. Can you raffle me off? Really helps the community. Really like that. Pretty cool stuff. For those of you that have played long enough to remember Toby's speech back in the day, it's worth a listen. Maybe check it out.
Does anybody know of a yellow shield offhand that I could use that's a little more yellow than this? I like this one, but it's kind of blue. Why can't it be all yellow? Want to buy yellow shield. myself look blue. So I'm hoping they put in more cosmetics soon. I thought I'd never see the day where I got every cosmetic, but sure enough. cosmetic let me know guys I'm really really tempted to uh, move my stats over and be a tank right now really tempted so right now I could have about 1700 health Most of my tanks right now don't have that much health. Now, of course, I don't want to make my attack too low. I still want to shield my Wimbos. But if I'm the tank, my burger's going to be shielding like crazy anyway, right? I just do this. Or I could reset my stats. But I don't really want to waste gems, right? Might as well waste gold first. Let's try like 700. Let's put the ring and the neck in the stamp. Cost 50k. That's actually not too bad. It used to be a lot more. 
think it was at one time 500k, if I'm not mistaken. There we go, 721 health. Still got a thousand attack. The cheeseburger does a lot less now, but with 24% block, let's see how much block I have total. Somehow we're up to 1980 stats, almost 2k. I'm at 32.5% block, almost 6% evade. Evade, be more block, or damage reduce. Kind of like evade. Let's try evade for a little bit. Let's try raid four, guys. Let's see what happens. Matter of fact, let's try a gauntlet. Draw on one token. And this is what one token's for. I, I see a lot of people asking, when do I use one token? When do I use five? Do you always recommend five? One is for testing. Let's test how this goes. 721 health. If I die, I put more stamina. If I live, I'm good. keep a special eye on the shields here looks like they're regenerating pretty quickly since I'm in the front the cheeseburger procs off of getting hit hitting and uh, attacking in general so as many times as I get hit I have the potential 20% chance of shielding my one post let's see how this plays out For those of you that haven't watched for a while, I actually tanked a lot in World of Warcraft. I had, I think, five or six different tanks. I've always been a big tank guy. I love tanking. But when I got to Bit Heroes, I told myself, taking a break from tanking, I'm going to do DPS for a while. I got up to level 250, some. And now may be my time to shine. I got the epic tank accessory. I still want a legendary. We're going to save a few donations. But I think it's... I think it may be time to go tank. I've been telling people for a long time not to just stack stamina and hope for the best. But now that I have my block accessory, which looks to be preventing quite a bit of damage here. Hopefully I don't die. Uh, don't die. Heal, 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 heal. Big heal, come on. Big heal. Ah, that's dumb. That is dumb. Well, I guess more, more stam. We'll try a little more stam and try it again. This guy's hitting pretty hard. And we found a penny. Good run. Good run. Alright, let's go ahead and put a few more into stamina. I think I might as well just go full tank, right? I think I'm going to. I can always change it later. Good 
is 100k. Wow. That's a lot of gold. Nine hundred and twenty six stam. Let's look at my enchants real quick. Is there anything I can replace? I don't really like one percent health. That's kind of disgusting. Because one percent of a hundred is one, one percent of a thousand is ten. Is ten health worth it? No. So I need to either change or re-roll this. If I'm changing it, it's going to be a downgrade. Don't really want 1% damage. 1% uh, damage reduction would be nice. See 1% evade, that's pretty good as well. Still 19 stats. I think we'll go with the evade. So we got 1% evade here. Here's deflect and block, that's good. Health damage, not not impressive. Let's see if I can do something blockish. Let me re-roll this health one. I think that's my answer. Just damage reduce. Life steal is garbage. It's more evade. Nineteen stats. Let's re-roll this one. I can re-roll the damage one as well. How much does it cost to re-roll these? material so we need at least 60 for two rerolls let's try exchange I knew I've been storing a bunch of these for a reason let's destroy 28 bows it's almost like shopping it what is that Costco six of these and a whole bunch of this Uh, there's my 30, 30 more. Actually, uh, quite a bit of materials to reroll. Do not recommend. Alright, let's reroll one each. We're looking for a tank one. Alright, this one just has 1% health. Not super amazing. Reroll. And just hot garbage. 1% damage and rage. And less than a percent for speed. Let's hope we get lucky on this one. 1% 1 damage. There we go. 1% evade. And half a percent of deflect. Perfect. And that's what? 20 stats. I think we'll get rid of health damage. Ah. Point four deflect is kind of low. Health damage is almost 2% of something. Plus 22 stats versus 20 stats with half a percent of something useless. All right. Full strike damage. I'll keep this in case I ever come back to uh, DPS. The evade is nice, and the deflect block is nice. Damage reduce is tempting though. Well, I want damage reduce over evade. I think I do. But I'll lose a couple points in stamina. But 
constant damage reduce would be nice. Put the damage reduce on over the evade. Hmm. I think I'm gonna keep evade. Just for now. We'll test it out. As far as my runes. Since I am going to be taking a lot of damage, I think I'll go ahead and go with the, the damage reduce here. I could also do it up here, but gotta show off that legendary evade, right? And 5% block down here is great. I'll be crafting a meta rune in a couple days if I can't do it right now. I need about 164 more. Let's go ahead and go all all stamina. Let's just do it. All right, I think I just need to reforge the weapon now. I will be all stamina. A thousand health. That is not something I'm used to. Why could I not reforge my weapon, sir? What is happening? It's because I locked it. If you lock your weapon, it makes it impossible to upgrade. Reforge. There we go, guys. I am officially a tank. Hopefully, this helps somebody. I think I'll go ahead and reset my stats as well. Wasn't really looking forward to this, but let's do it. I know I'm gonna kick myself in the butt for not putting on. Or attack. However, I don't have the best accessory, so I'm gonna just do all stamina. Somehow I lost two total stats. I guess that's because of the enchants. Hmm. Okay, 1346 stam. We have how much block? 32 and a half block, 7.7 evade. How about damage reduced? Absorb chance of three, damage reduce four. Not the best tank. Not aiming for super tank. Just want gauntlet auto level 210. As we move into wave two here, it's noticeably less damage for myself, obviously. I don't see the cheeseburgers working super hard just yet, but hopefully with all the redirect, I will be able to pull something off here. My nightmare would be if it's just complete garbage and I have to reforge all over again.
So as we can see, it is noticeably slower. At least maybe that's just my view on things. The true test will be wave 10. Boy, do I hope I can auto this. Let's hope the redirect holds up. Made lots of blocks. I should have enabled text so we can see what's happening. I did go into the yellow. I need a crit heal big time. Look how long the back player is staying alive. That blows my mind. Completely blows my mind. They really need to reorganize how auto works. Like, why would the back menu not be prioritized? Given Wimbo needs two mana to make that happen, there's no reason for, specifically on wave 10, that the back menu. Look at this, the boss is lower health than this guy. Why would that make sense? I don't know if I'll ever be able to auto 210. You know what I might try is, uh, what's his name, Kovor, the little tiny quirk dude? I try him. So he can attack the back line. Let's try him, because I, I do believe I have him stable as well. Let's see. Alright, I do have him. One out of five. Let's go ahead and stable the other Wimbo. That bumps him up to crazy high numbers. And we'll use Forks. Hopefully between his dual strike and I believe he has a one mana target enemy ability that should be able to snipe off the back row yep he has the lower health so I may need to start farming from one more let's try him out I will put one bow in the back just, to, just in case of spears. Can Korgs also heal? Can. So the hope here now, well, the back guy died pretty fast there. I'm hoping on wave 10, the player in the back will die.
Alright, wave 8. Looking pretty strong. I would like to see higher shields on my minions. I may go a little higher on attack. But from what I saw on wave 10, I don't know if I have enough health. This guy's not too bad. Let's see what happens. Those are our first full auto. I've done a couple in the past, and this boss isn't that hard to do it on. But it's nice to see some success. I think uh, Korg's here may be my answer. See how much I need to do to create another Korg's. I know I have a ton of quirks because I farmed those for a long time. You know, if Quirk wasn't so f so much less total stats, I would actually consider using him. Wonder how many total stats I can get him up to. Hmm. So he does have a lot more health than Quirks, but it does 30% crit versus 20 dual strike. Can I craft a Penji or Bobor? See, I gotta do a ton of stuff to get this guy. Well, not really. Just need one cool bog. And I think for Penji, all I need is. Uh. Gotta get Grams, and this guy's not too bad. Well, farming familiars is exhausting. Let's go ahead and test out my new build and raid four. I will leave myself in the back. It's weird seeing myself with more stamina than my current tank. So let's see how this works out. Let me restart the music. Special shout out to Mr. Mike Roach, level 160. I like that transmog. Like it. Okay. So I'm semi worried about this guy, but he does have quite a bit of block. Mr. Betraz, special shout out to you. Let's let's just jump right into it. Special shout out to Skype. For interrupting every video. Let's see what we can do.
You and me are bored of regularities Living all the dreams, playing all the games And getting high on love They can chase us down, but we will always win Leading every dance, feeling every touch And getting high on love We're invincible Mr. Cool Gamer, level 188. He claims I'm doing pretty good as tank. I'll know for sure when I give Mr. Snitchu a live stream battle. I gotta base myself off of Mr. Snitchu. Best tank in game. Let's check him out real quick. Let's escape the gray and let the colors rain. Turn the shit we do and our words into pure reality. Ah, he's so so he's stuck with a thousand health. I kind of like thirteen hundred. I like to have a lot of stam. But he got really lucky with this accessory. Maybe I need to look into Waldo. That way I have an additional 10% every time I get hit. That's really good, actually. Look at all this damage reduction. Man. I don't know if I can compete with this guy. It's on a whole new level. I don't know if you guys can hear the Air Force coming in. You hear the jet. It's like they land on top of my house. Mr. Optech's gonna pass me in the next couple days. I can feel it. Send him a friend request. If you guys haven't sent this guy a friend request, rumor has it he has over two friend spots available. Send him a friend request. Tell him I said hi. Anyway, let's see if we can fully auto this. So far, we're not really taking much damage at all. The team seems to be fully healed. Uh, since I have my redirect rune, I am taking some damage, but overall, looks pretty comfy. Good reports so far. Two confirmations. They like the tank. Hopefully, I can help uh, all 100 friends. I'm here. 
exaggerated, that's what you assume. The story's over now, I must conclude. I am conflicted, watching where I step still. Hanging in the balance, not the life I want to live. I want to take it all, standing tall. Fear I wait the person you are. So we got all the way through. I've been seeing the question here lately of uh, how many total stats do I need to do Raid for Heroic? And it's a good question, but I'm not really good at total stat questions. I can say that I have 11 and 6 almost, and I do just fine. If I do replace one minion or one person and go down to uh, sub 11,000, I do struggle. So, best I can tell you. Well, I love this team. Let's go again. You guys gotta let me know. What should I do? Should I continue farming for additional Wimbos? Now that I'm tank. Maybe one more Wimbo and my team will be solid? Or should I farm another Korgs? I kind of need both, huh? That's a lot of farming. I'll let you know in a year how things are going. If anybody's on my friends list, let me know how I'm doing as tank. As far as I can see, my tank is taking little to no damage. I know most of my friends, special out, a shout out to them. All the chaos and pandemonium. High level players. They're pretty much my carry, I'll admit that. But as of right now, it seems like having two tanks Myself included. I, I feel like I'm actually finally pulling my weight in my team. I see myself taking damage, but never really gone below three quarters. Very solid team here, feels like. Seems very solid. And we got a rare. Nice. Sight. Special shout out to you, sir. You're so lucky you got the uh, you 
Yep, big tank is very nice. 21% damage reduction. Boy, if I could ever get this accessory. Depending on the set accessory that comes out next week, I may have to spend uh, a couple doll hairs of donations. Try to get that accessory. Special shout out to those of you that have donated recently. I got the text to speech to working as well as the sponsor button down below. You guys have been a really big help over the past year. Fun stuff. Fun stuff indeed. Level 39, sorry. Mr. Bugs Bunny. Mr. Nom now. This guy is awesome. See, I can't really compete with the other tanks though. That's the thing. This guy is just phenomenal. Got crazy stuff everywhere. Maybe I need a better meta rune. Maybe that would help things. Let's test out a PvP now that I'm a tank. Let's see how things are as a tank. I will keep all my gear on. We'll do a really hard match. You gotta love when Spotify messes up just for stream only. Never happens otherwise. Alright, let's fight the YD Nation. Mr. Hawaiian Barbecue. Special shout out to you, sir. Let's go with no Rolsker. I will be the tank, sir. And let's invite Wumbo. Alright, let's do it up. See what happens. Site can't be reached. Are you serious? Special shout out to Cox Communications. You are not my friend. All right, we may have silence mode on this one. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. So basically, me versus Bobo Dom. Uh, I don't have a lot of power of sniping, plus this Wumbo's going to heal, so I'm going to save my mana. Do a big crit here, hopefully. Now the Wumbo has four choices of what to heal. I think he already did heal, actually. Uh, I usually don't heal my matches. I'm going to save for the snipe. And once my Wumbo can snipe, my Korgs will snipe right after. I actually can't believe I can't find the site right now. That's crazy. Alright, let's go ahead and snipe Wimbo. Chop. And. Chop again. I'm going to go ahead and bring Robbie out for a hit or two. An error occurred. Did it really? And chop. Got him. So Wimbo down. I'll let my Wimbo take a hit while I try to snipe off Robbie in the back. It's crazy doing uh, little to no damage. It's kind of sad. I miss it already. Orgs could not take a hit. I'll say that. Alright, I'll go ahead and put myself in front. I should probably heal, but I'm just stubborn. There we go. Any sound with that. There we go. Alright. Can we kill Bobo Dom? I need to focus Robbie, I think. Open out die. Maybe I should look into my damage and rage. I can also do that. I have a rune for that as well. Mode indeed. Learn bring in combo. Flawless victory. First tank match. All five tickets. All gear on. I think I love tanking so far. 
absolutely love it. Uh, having this offhand is kind of upsetting that I have to have some attack. Looks like everything else went to stamina. So the cheeseburger does almost nothing now. I wish I had... I see I have the turtle. I had the turtle and the hammer, but I don't have the third one, the tank one. Hmm. What would be the odds of doing a small defense head egg? Or shielding? And getting wall though. Could I get wall? Oh, I don't even have 200 gems. What am I thinking? I am so broke, it's not funny. Alright, let's do another quest. Let's aim for gem again. It's gonna be weird to do this as a tank now. What if I could still one shot stuff as tank? Let me put on my capture bait. And we're off like a herd of turtles. I like to spread out my different uh, different runes and different stats in places. I don't want to stack all dodge, because I think that would actually be bad. I threw some evade in there, some damage reduce. Quite a bit of block, 3% absorb. If you guys are on my friends list, let me know how I'm tanking. I gotta say the the dungeon run does take longer. For sure. Overall I'm happy. But I think I have some serious work to do on familiars. I hope this video encourages you to go and start working on your familiars a little more yourself. 
Pick out specifically which ones you want. You gotta narrow it down. I honestly want to go all Wimbo and just have two healers. Because I think that's the answer. I'm gonna do that instead of chasing the Korgs. But for now, until then, I'll use Korgs. Since it can snap off the back row. You have to consider the back row at all times. The back row still may be a problem if I go full Wimbo. We'll see. I may end up doing Korg's Wimbo. But narrow it down to your top two and farm them every day. Very important. Special shout out to my guild. I have some great guildies. Almost level 200. We will have our 25th spot this Friday. If you are currently watching and you're level 200, make sure to send me a friend request. I am friending every level 200 player from now on. Because I want to have as many players as possible that will help out my stream watchers. As you can see here, I believe we're in the top 13-ish. Yep. Just past Black Rope. So we have to keep our standards high. I'm recruiting level 200 plus. Epic or better accessory and pets. Let me know if you know somebody. Our Discord and Facebook is below. I appreciate you guys joining us. Smash the like button. Should have mashed, should have mentioned that in the beginning. If we could hit 20 likes, that's all I ever asked for. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you guys coming out. Let me know what you think of me tanking. Let me know what you think of the non live streams, maybe twice a week. Gotta take a break every once in a while. Thanks a lot, guys. Peace out.